What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. What you're looking at right there is the greatest wide receiver to ever play in the National Football League. I don't care what you say. It doesn't matter. It's not up for debate. He is the greatest wide receiver to ever play the game. And it's going to be no different in Madden 19 Ultimate Team as he jumps out as a legend. And this is just one of the cards that goes into the set. If you could go ahead and read the description right here, you can see that this item is going to be used to complete a step in the power-up player item, okay? So this is, this is the whole thing, right? We're going to have to make sure that we understand this. All this green right here, right? He's going to be the standard. Randy Moss is going to be the standard of wide receiver. I don't care who the other wide receivers are. I don't care about T.O. with the Hall of Fame edition. I don't care about him doing his own Hall of Fame speech. I don't care about all that stuff. I have, Listen, let me just point it out like this so you guys can understand where I stand with this situation. If I had a chance to choose, both of them had, you know, wild things that they did both on and off the field. I'm not worried about that right now. Um, they were very fortunate to not go to jail for the things that they were doing on and off the field. So this is what I'm going to talk about. I'm just going strictly on the field. There is no comparison to who was the better wide receiver. There is no comparison to why Randy Moss is a first ballot and Terrell Owens was not. Now, based on the, um, the numbers, should T.O. have been a first ballot? Yeah, so should a lot of other wide receivers. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, listen, I got, look, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm not saying that I agree with what everybody was saying about T.O. I'm just saying that T.O. was known to drop a lot of passes. Was he great? Yes. And I love watching T.O. play. Very, very entertaining and stuff like that. And yes, his numbers show a lot of, you know, it shows a lot of things. Um, should he have won that championship with the Eagles? Probably. Should Donovan McNabb probably not have been thrown up in the huddle? Probably. But things happen. But when it comes to the better receiver, the most feared receiver, the guy that you didn't want to see on Sunday, you got to go with Randy Moss. It's like, I don't care. You can talk about Jerry Rice. You know what I'm saying? Every, whoever you want to put in there. I don't, I don't care who you want to throw in there. This man, bro, by himself, if you watch some of the defensive coordinators and the team defensive coaches that had interviews during the time that he played, compare that to any of the way any other player that they ever prepared for. And it's no comparison that Randy Moss is the greatest receiver ever. Like, Jerry Rice was good and all that stuff like that, bro. But he was a dude that would take a slant for six. He was very, very skilled. Very, very high IQ of the game. Listen, this dude right here, you line him up. I don't care how many dudes you got out there. He running by all of them. And then it got to the point where, the re you know what's weird? Dante Culpepper, in my opinion, was garbage. But it's not even about that. If they had a better um, scheme, right, it was able to understand that, like, what the run game could be. And, you know, because dudes had to, to respect Randy Moss. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I never forget that championship game. I was pretty young when it happened when the Giants beat them. Like, I think it was like 41 zip in the, um, in the championship game. I remember my uncles going wild, right? They were Because my uncles are, you know, New York Giant fans. You know, I call them idiots. It is what it is. But look, at that time, I couldn't call them idiots because, like, you know, they'll, they'll beat the hell out of me. But, you know, we actually, you know, we grow up and then things change. But listen, at this point right now, just looking back at that situation, I don't understand how that Giant team did that. Like, I seriously don't understand how that happened. Um, it was very, very weird to me because when you got to respect the pass like that and you got to keep your guys off, I don't understand what the hell the offensive coordinators were doing for the, um, the you know, for the uh, Minnesota Vikings at that time. But this man, like, you were able to see what he could be with a great quarterback with Tom Brady. And I know, you could, you know you're going to say, like, yeah, you know, Tom Brady's the greatest ever, whatever. But if, if, you, if you gave him somebody that knew, knew what he was doing – and Randy Moss is able to spend his career with like a Ben Roethlisberger, even with a guy like Ben Roethlisberger that wants to throw the ball deep. Just any, Cole Pepper was just able to throw the ball deep. That's what he was good at. You saw when he left the Vikings, what happened to him, bro? Like, it, look, it is what it is. Sometimes it just work out. It just works out like that. But I had to go on a rant because this is my dude right here, and I got to give him a lot of credit um, when it comes to being feared on the field and being the best. And I, I don't think he gets that edge a lot because either the commentators that speak about him played against him. Or people are just haters, bro. But this dude by far was one of the most electrifying wide receivers to ever play in the National Football League. And I have the, the you know the footage to prove it, the stats to prove it, and everything like that. So it's well deserved that he's gonna be in the Hall of Fame. Now that all that's been said, and you guys know that Randy Moss is the GOAT, now I can let you guys understand with these mudhead ratings, totally agree with everything here. Absolutely 100 percent correct. The run blocking, he wasn't the best run blocking. Very, very skinny guy. I wouldn't say that he wasn't strong for his position, but very, very skinny, 6'4", slender, 2'10", body. I could understand that, okay? But this is what I want you guys to understand, though. When we jump into his general, these are his actual stats. You can go ahead and look right there. You see that 90 speed right there, bro? Yo, bro, do you see it? You, bro, bro, you see this right there? 
when he starts to get powered up, that's going to be jumping up right there. Bro, punks the fuck to get beat down. Like, listen, this right here, serious. Serious like, sat bro, like satellite radio. It is unbelievably, unbelievably ridiculous that this guy's going to be running around at launch like that. So what does that mean for us? First, we're going to talk about the grinders, right? What does that mean with these legend sets and everything that's going on? Um, how is that going to work out for the grinders? Um, this is what's going to have to happen. If you're not spending money at launch, like I don't plan to right now, but it's starting to make me like, yo, I already called up Citibank. Like, yo, listen, I'm going to need a home equity loan on my house. You know what I'm saying? They're like, well, what are you talking about? I'm like, look, Madden coming out. They're like, all right, look, this was going to happen. You're going to go bankrupt. I'm like, all right, listen, shut up. I ain't asking you for any kind of financial advice. They're like, yo, but you're a member of that situation. You know what I'm saying? Like you got that stature with the bank. We give it for free. I'm like, look, I don't want it for free. Give me a home equity loan and I'm going to need it. And I'm going to be on Madden 19. I'm like, that, it is what it is. They're like, listen, bro. We don't really, you know, we don't really, um, you know, recommend that you do that. It's a video game. I mean, listen, don't worry about what I'm doing. But that's just, that's neither here nor there. That conversation is neither here nor there. What I'm trying to explain to you guys is this. As grinders, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to shut this out. We're going to have to play our solos and we're going to have to make sure that every single decision that we make is geared toward what we're trying to build our team to be. Now, this guy is going to have to be on my team. I just don't know how I'm going to do it yet. Because I'm not going to be out there spending all this kind of money. And I'm not going to be out there doing weird things to get the money. So I'm going to have to figure out what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Weird things meaning, you know, wearing shirts that say $20 is $20. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know how they have their shirt going on. You know, whatever it is. I'm going to have to figure out a way to do it. Okay, maybe I got to be Deuce Bigelow. Whatever has to happen, I got to get it done. But he's going to be that card that you're going to probably want. Now, let me explain to you why he might not be a card that everybody might want. If the wide receiver defensive back um, interactions are the same, right? Because we, we have been told that pass interference will be a part of Mutt. So they won't be able to run in front of you and do all that stupidness they were doing in the previous year. It'll be automatically pass interference. If the user clicks on, only the CPU will be able to do all that holding you, you know, at the 10 yard stuff and it's not pass interference, okay? So with that being said, if you're able to run by people earlier in the year and even if they're in zone, you can run by them once you get that step. This card is going to be dangerous. It's going to be very, very dangerous. And with that being said, we're going to have to do what we need to do to get him. But let me tell you the catch, though. Because remember, Tyreek Hill is just as fast. Okay? If height doesn't matter because Antonio Brown is on the cover, we might not need Randy Moss early. We may be able to get him and complete his set later on. We may not have to rush for it. It all depends on how the animations are with the catching, the speeds, and everything like that. That's very important that I want to stress to you guys because this is not all about people buying packs. We started this with, you know, as a grinder. This is what we started. That's the base. So I'm never going away from my base and just, oh, yeah, bro, realistically, can I spend the money? Yes, I can. But that's not what – I'm not trying to have my viewers like, yo, bro, you just bought $75 million worth of packs, and I can't afford it. I'm done with you. No, we don't need to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm still going to be grinding them solos. I'm still going to be getting it in. So it's the same boat. And like I said, if you if you guys need to, um, I wouldn't prefer this, but like I got so many um, games, game cases of the actual hard copies that I bought. I don't deal with GameStop because GameStop likes to scan your eyeball and take a thumbprint and do all kinds of weird stuff for trade-ins. So I'm completely done with them. If you guys wanted to trade stuff in, Amazon is pretty good with it. As long as the game is in good condition, it's not scratched or whatever, if you have games that you want to get credit for and you can, you know, get PSN cards from credit from Amazon, that's another way you can do it, guys. And that's something that you wanted to do. If you're under the age, check with your parents because I think you need their uh, guidelines to um, be able to do that, uh, to do the whole trade-in situation. I think you got to be like 18 or, 18 or over. I'm not sure. But they have a pretty decent program, all right? And, um, you know, Amazon is bigger than life right now, so they're only going to get bigger. I don't know of any other way that you can actually train, trade in your games to get credit other than them and, uh, you know, and GameStop. But like I said, I've been very, very uncomfortable with what has gone on with me the last time I went to GameStop. Let me just explain to you what happened, guys, really quickly. I broke my controller playing Madden 18, right? Like, smashed it. Guy threw the ball through my body. I lost the game by, like, one point. He did a C route. I lost it, okay? Smashed it up. I went to GameStop, right, to go and get a remote and... 
I had a couple games that I wanted to return because I just had them for a while. I'm trying to see what's going on. First of all, no matter how new the game was, I was getting one dollar and forty three cents. No matter what the game was, it was like, yo, I just bought it yesterday. It's like, yeah, dollar forty three. That's the first thing, right? Other other than that, they were telling me stuff like, yeah, bro, um, you're gonna need to um do this real quick. You're gonna need to do that. I'm gonna need your thumbprint, your license. I'm gonna need you to sit on this printer so your butt cheeks can get printed into the system. I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing this no more. So what I did was, I went to Amazon. Now Amazon gave me um, the, the remote for $51.01, right? And that one cent was very important because I could have saved that. I could have used that one cent in my regular daily routine, but it was 5101. And then I realized I can't be doing this no more, bro. I ain't breaking no remotes. But then I realized that the prices, I saved like $10, $11 from what the, what the guy wanted to charge me at GameStop. And then I didn't have to deal with the extra stress, put my thumbprint, my eye, bro, my, 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 my cornea into the x-ray machine. You know what I'm saying? Jumping through a scanner like I'm going to the airport. Like, it's just too many things. So if your state is not like that with GameStop, you may want to try it that way. But Amazon does offer different ways to do stuff. They give you different ways to save money. Um, if, I, if I come across anything else that really works out for that situation, I'll let you guys know so that we don't have to really worry about how, you know, with the PlayStation cards for getting, like, the credits. That's one of the ways that I was able to get some stuff done. All right? But that, if, that's, that's, if that's something that you can do. If you have other stuff. If you don't have other stuff, we're going to be strict grinders, okay? And we're going to have to be very, very careful with the players that we use because I just heard that they added gauntlet players to the Mutthead reveal. So that means that we will get some free players that are gauntlet players also. So that's going to be very huge as well. So keep that in mind also, all right? And um, at the end of the day, we're going to probably all want this Randy Moss, but most of us won't get it at the same time. But keep rest assured, I will, you know, stay step to step to step with how I do it and how we work through it, and we will get our coins up and try to figure out a way so all of us can figure out how we want to build our team, all right? Is he clutch? Cover balls always. Okay, he covers the ball always. Fights for extra yards? No. Really? Makes aggressive catches? Yes. Rack catches? Yes. Possession catches? Yes. Drops over passes? No. Makes sideline catches? High motor? No. Really? Randy Moss on a high motor? Penalty normal? I, I don't know about the high motor, bro. Like, this dude was able to run for, like, 90 yards, come back to the huddle, run for another 90. I don't know about that high motor trait. I'm going to have to look into that. But overall, I'm only looking at this. And this is only part of the power-up system. So you guys know where this is headed. We're going to be powering them up like a mofo. You know what I'm saying? So this is just giving you an idea about the legend sets and where we're going to be going with the team. Obviously, when the game is released, we're going to be going so hard, man. It's going to be really, really crazy. But at the end of the day, we're going to be doing it together. And that's the way I know you guys like it, man. So... Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you guys are excited about Randy Moss and leave it in the comment section below. See you guys and girls next time. One love.